To be honest, this is the cheesy, the easiest cheese recipe as you can find. It is two blocks of cream cheese that is pretty well room temperature. It ain't got to be completely, but it's just easier on the mixture. A can of sweetened condensed milk. I always use the cap for the uh, about a teaspoon of vanilla. Get all the stuff out of the can, and then you take your mixture. Well, I thought the beater was in there, so I guess I gotta come down here to the drawer. My wife is a very big Pioneer Woman fan. So, just about... Just about everything in the kitchen is Pioneer one to the letter. Just about almost as bad as she told me that if I was going to buy any kind of kitchen appliance, that it had to be Pioneer Woman. So that's what I've done. Cheesecake is really easy. You just sit in and mix it up. Two blocks of cream cheese, a fourth of a cup of lemon juice, and a can of sweetened condensed milk. I don't have a fresh lemon today. I just got the little can of yellow lemon juice. So I squeeze pretty much that much in there. And I get back to mixing. Get all the lumps and everything out of it. Just keep mixing till it's smooth. It's still got a few lumps in it, but it's pretty well right. And then you take it out of the bowl and put it in. Let me come over here to the carry to the carry on cabinet, which is more of a cabinet for. Ah, I thought I had them separated, but I guess I don't. Me and my wife does do a lot of cooking for other people, so that's mainly why I have all of the food that's in the house, basically, that I ain't supposed to have, you know, for my diet. But to be honest, everybody else is not on a diet. So, you know, I enjoy cooking for everybody. So that's what I do. And I catch stuff on sale, and that's what I buy it. So... That's basically all you do. You sit here and get this out. Put it in the sink. Because that's where all your extra grazed eating is, is when you're licking the spoon and stuff like that. It's always so good, but it's also a lot of extra calories that you don't need. So basically all you do is you take your spatula, your cake spatula, and you pour it from that bowl into here. So just a second.
when you get done with it, you just set it up, put the lid on top, and put it in the fridge. My friends don't necessarily want all the, the cherries or the strawberries on top. But you're welcome to open up a can of the strawberry filling or the cherry filling and put it directly on top. Any kind of fruit would really be okay with it. So you just take it in there and then after you do that, you put it in the fridge for a little bit to chill and then it's done.